We're here at North Omaha Power Station, standing next to A Stack, getting ready to go ban the Falcons. The Falcons are about 205 feet in the air around our top catwalk on the stack. We're going to go up the stack uh, and climb up onto the catwalk, and uh, Matt and I will walk over around and avoid the constant harassment by the parents who are who are there to protect their young, and it's very legitimate for them to be doing so. Uh, so we will be wearing protective gear to protect us and them because we don't want them to be harmed as well. We'll be retrieving the two chicks from the box, bringing them down to a safe area where we can put bands on their legs to find out more information about them. We banned at age 20 days. That's a time when we can handle them carefully uh, without them bolting from the box and uh, perishing by, by falling out. So if we do it a little later, uh, there's a very good chance. They're also already starting to get very mobile up there. So it's just right at the right time. We're gonna be putting two kinds of bands on these birds today. One is a federal band that's required for anyone who's licensed to ban any kind of birds. And it's a USGS band that has a unique number for that bird. And that's how we know where this bird was found or whatever happens to it. The other band is an auxiliary band that is larger is colorful and more easily seen at a distance. And so they, uh, if somebody doesn't actually have to have the bird in hand in order to get a, that information to, to pass on to us, they can use binoculars or if they're lucky enough to just see it clearly like or with a camera, which we see the ones uh, on the adults. If they have the, they'll have the same bands that the adult peregrines will have. Mainly what we're writing down is very basic information, the band numbers that we can then submit to the USGS, and also we'll take some measurements. Of, it's very important that we get the right size bands on them. If we get them too small, it could cut off circulation in the legs, and so we're, we're very careful. And if we determine the age and gender by multiple ways, uh, like we're gonna be able to probably tell the, the sex of, the, of these young chicks, uh, just because uh, we have some information on uh, what they weigh at this age and that's what we're going to be using and, and also the size of the band that we put on will help us. It's going to be kind of tricky but with those two, between those two we'll make an educated guess.